Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 30th of March 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. Today's message is from the Druid Craft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargon. Okay guys, let's see what the message is for us today. Okay, what is it my friends need to know? For Friday the 30th of March 2018, what is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Friday the 30th of March 2018, thank you. What is it my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, your first card, Major Arcana, number 17, the star. Followed by the Queen of Swords. And followed by Major Arcana, number 9, the Hermit. Your first card, guys. Major Arcana, number 17, the star. This is you guys being totally balanced, totally harmonious. You have your feet in both worlds. This lady is on the, on the ground, on terra firma, and she also has her toe dipped in the water. She is in and out of both worlds. She has real equilibrium. She is, she's real inspiration, she is healing and I feel this is you guys, some of you are really having your wishes granted, your dreams are coming true, you are, some of you, some of you are flowing with real creativity and well the flow I, I can see the flow guys is really wonderful and i feel this creative flow that some of you are in is really going to to bring your your wishes to fruition your dreams will come true wow okay next we have the queen of swords and queens are they are a motherly energy, a nurturing energy. They have a real, a real certain self-mastery, if you like, to attain the position of queen. And this queen, the queen of swords, she's all about logic, thinking, communication. This queen sitting there with her eyes closed she's really really in tune with herself this queen is a wordsmith and she walks her walk and talks her talk there is no messing around with this queen when she speaks you are under no illusion as to what she means next guys we have another major arcana your major inner world, number nine, the hermit. And this, guys, is asking you to take some time to reflect, to get in touch with your inner being, maybe through meditation, by zoning out, by doing whatever it takes to get that time out, that solitary time, that you need to be able to tune in. And you can only do that, guys, if you decluttered and you have got some space and some time for yourself so that you can go off. And when we do this, guys, we very often do have a little light bulb moment where we, where with reflection, we can see where we have been. We can gain knowledge, inner wisdom, gain enlightenment. And there is a moon in the background guys and we do have a blue moon i think it's tomorrow 
well maybe depending where you are in the world but for the uk i think it's the 31st which is tomorrow blue moon full moon things being revealed you gaining wisdom gaining enlightenment oh guys today some of you have your feet dipped in both worlds you are in the creative flow and spirit is saying when you are feeling that flow guys and that inspiration is coming that's when your wishes can be granted and your dreams can come true remember real authenticity this queen is authentic when she speaks her thoughts her words and her actions all match she walks her walk and talks her talk you are under no illusion with this queen when she speaks when she says something she means it and very often or without fail actually this queen she will do what she's what she has spoken about no illusions with this queen and spirit is saying take some time to reflect to meditate zone out take some time out get some solitude time on your own so that you can gain some enlightenment mm. okay guys let's go we'll go next with wisdom of the oracle which is colette baron reed okay okay what is it my friends need to know for friday the 30th of march 2018 thank you you get here and now this is this is spirit reminding you that living in the past is never going to serve you because all you succeed in doing is reactivating old vibrations that you would rather leave behind you know guys when i first started doing this channel i thought about doing you know a real big testament on you know how i kind of all the things I'd gone through um, to, to get myself to this spiritual awakening. But in doing that, all I will do is achieve, is, is reactivating old vibra vibrations that I don't want to react. So the here and now, this is you living in the moment. Be like the, the animals and the beasts, beasts of the world. Living in the here and now really is being mindful being aware being thoughtful of what you are putting out into the world so that you can create the real future for yourselves that you want and also we get orphaned and this i feel is some of you really feeling the fear of being alone being left alone and the message really is that when you've got spirit as your best friend, you actually are never alone. In fact, when you have spirit as your best friend, you'll spend a lot of time wanting to seek solitude so that you can tune into your inner being, so that you can gain enlightenment and wisdom on your direction. Wow. OK, guys, we'll finish with a trusty steed. This is my Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs. Okay, what is it my wonderful friends need to know? From Spirit, for Friday, the 30th of March 2018. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful kindred spirits? For Friday, the 30th of March, 2018. What is it my friends need to know? Thank you. <clears throat> wow. Freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom and claim your independence. Today, guys, I see... I do see you some of you feeling the freedom you are really got your feet in both worlds you've got a real creative flow going and for that you are going to be rewarded by the universe by having your your dreams and your wishes granted 
because I see that some of you now are really being mindful of what you're putting out there and you are learning to be more like the Queen of Swords where your your thoughts, your words and your actions all match. You can be authentic, you walk your walk and talk your talk. Spirit is reminding you, take some time out to be on your own, get some solitude to gain your enlightenment. You can only do that by talking to spirit, getting in touch with your inner being. Remember, don't live in the past. You only reactivate old vibrations. It's not good for you. Be mindful, be aware of where you are now. What happened has happened. You can't change it, but you can change your direction and your future. So be mindful of where you are now. Be mindful of what you are putting out into the world. To be authentic. And Spirit says, for those of you that have that worry of being left on your own, please have the knowledge that when you are best friends with Spirit, you are never alone. Because at any moment you can tune out and tune in to your inner being, gain your enlightenment, gain your wisdom. Have real good time with your best friend. That's where the freedom comes from, my friends. From having this knowledge, knowing that spirit is your best friend. When you know that, you know you are never alone. That is real, total, absolute freedom. Well, thank you so much, guys, for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Guys, thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments. I just love that we are all a big family. It's absolutely brilliant. Well, I wish you all a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.